Hi, welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Magic's Movie Edit Pro 2019 Lens Flare Tool. So the first thing we do is open up our web browser and we'll go to this website and download this video clip. I'll put a link to this video clip in the YouTube description and we'll click free download and we want 1920 by 1080. We'll download that and we'll open up this folder and we'll place this video clip inside of this folder here, close this down and then we'll open up Magic's Movie Edit Pro. I'm just going to create a default clip at 19, 20, 10, 80 at 29 frames, click create, and then I'm going to get Magic's movie edit to adjust it. So when I drag and drop the video clip, Magix will tell me it's running at 25 frames a second, so I'll click adjust, and then we've got the video clip in here, and we want to create a lens flare effect. So we'll click on the video clip, we'll go to effects here, and then we'll scroll up and we'll see the lens flare here. So we'll click that, and then we'll click apply effect, and Magix will give us this... Uh, editor here to edit the lens flare effect itself so we just drag this down a little bit so we can see it a bit clearer in here and the first thing we'll do is click on the insert keyframe here for the lens flare so we we'll click insert keyframe we'll click on this drop down menu it's going to give us these various options in here the rgb color we don't really need these but we'll leave them in here the blend the size and the tint will leave and we'll activate the tint as well so we'll tick these all off and then we're going to make a slight adjustment so let's move the intensity up slightly so we can see the lens flare in here we can actually see it now and we're just going to move the position uh, and to move the position you just left click in here and drag up or down like this and when you move the position you'll see the Y keyframe and the X keyframes show up in here like this and all we want to do is pick the keyframes that we want to manage, right? So the size, we'll click on it and add a keyframe. Click here and you see an option will pop up here. The intensity, we'll click and add a keyframe for these ones here. Like this and one for the blend. The colors we don't really need to do. So it's just these ones here that we're going to um, change. And we'll also drag the perspective slightly and that will insert a keyframe for it as well. We'll click on perspective and add a keyframe here as well. Then we drag across the timeline and we can see the time here. It's a little bit hard to see, but it's at five seconds. I'm going to drag it across to around, say, eight seconds, something like this. So here's eight seconds. And we're going to insert a keyframe as well here. So we'll insert a keyframe and Magix will insert the lens for a keyframe and then one for the last thing that you selected. So let's click on blend, add a keyframe as well, add one for size, add one for the tint, and add one for the intensity, the X, and the Y position as well. So we've got keyframes for all of these elements up here that we're gonna manipulate. So the next thing we'll do is actually enable this option here, and this will smooth out the, the, the actual animation, so it will speed up and slow down at the beginning and the end. We can use these options here to move between the keyframes that we've entered. So we'll just move to the first keyframe and we'll set this up. So the first thing we do is increase the tint a little bit, increase the intensity, and in here we're going to select 70 to 300 millimeter so we've got this sort of effect as well and we can change the blend and we can change the perspective we can do all sorts of things in here right but the first thing i want to do is adjust the positioning so i'm going to click in here and drag down to move it to the side and i'll click here and drag it upwards to move it to this sort of position so now we've got that keyframe and now you can see the actual sort of animation moving here right like this but let's move to the end keyframe and we can just click the arrow here or click this arrow click this one here and that moves us to the end position we'll increase the intensity here and we'll increase the blend and we can see that the uh, lens flare is finishing in the middle here so we want to stretch that out a bit to the side and then we can see what that looks like now it's going to move in this sort of perspective like this right like this we'll move to the first keyframe again so let's click the arrow here and we'll go to the first keyframe just click on it and you'll see the zeros will pop up and really the intensity we want to bring that right down so now we're going to get this sort of effect here moving to the side right so that's basically how you use the lens flare effect in um, Magix Movie Edit Pro there's probably one other thing we can do is we can move from frame or the 8 second frame and move across to around 12 so we're going to have like a 4 second duration here to around 12 here We'll click on the keyframe, we'll click on lens flare and insert a keyframe here as well. But this time we only really need one for the intensity. We can leave tint there, but we'll go to intensity here. 
and we'll click insert keyframe so we've got one for the intensity only and we'll click on that and it's set to zero now so between here and here it's going to fade out now like this now you can just go and experiment you can click here on this first one you can click on this middle one let's go to the middle one and then you can change the perspective you can increase it or decrease it you can do all sorts of stuff in here and really we want it to fade out at the end so that's why we've got this last one here like this and it will fade out you can even move it on this last transition as well if you want you can click here and then you can move the x slightly and move the y slightly and then that will have a bit of movement at the end as well like this so let's just play that out And then you can go and render out your video clip and that's how you use the lens flare tool in magic's movie edit pro premium 2019 let's minimize this that's the end of this tutorial and i look forward to seeing you on the next dcp web tutorial